Hello everybody. Today let's talk briefly about infer and imply. People get these two terms mixed up very often. So let's unpack this really fast. When you imply something, you are making an indirect suggestion. When you are inferring something, you are arriving at a conclusion based on the information that you have. Now let's do all this within the context of a conversation. You get a knock on the door, your friends are at the door, they tell you we're soaking wet, it's freezing cold, let us in, let us in. They are implying that the weather is cold outside, they are implying that it's raining or it had been raining because they're soaking wet, but they never directly told you that it had been raining. Let's take it from this vantage point. You see your friends at the door, you let them in, they're soaking wet. Now, unless they fell into a neighbor's swimming pool, it's pretty logical to infer that it had been raining or it is raining. Does that make sense? Let's take another example. Suppose you have a bowl of apples and your friend sitting over there says, those apples look so good. Now, they might be implying that they would like one of the apples. They would like for you to give them one of the apples. On the other hand, what happens on your end of the conversation? What can you infer from this? You can infer, oh, they really want one of the apples. They're hungry. Or maybe I have an apple tree in the backyard and they're complimenting me that I'm such a great gardener, that the apples look so good. Does that make sense now? One quick trick that I have put together just for myself to differentiate between infer and imply is one can be considered, say like in baseball, a pitch, or in football, a pass, and another uh, receiving or catching. And you can tell by just, if you take the word imply, it has the P in it, so it can be pass or pitch, and infer has the R in it, and that could be receive. So for my friend who made the comment on the apple, I'm going to infer that you want an apple. So. This beautiful apple is now yours. You can probably infer that I broke a very expensive piece of glass. Anyway, you guys, please like, please subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.